supposed to say just the way I told you what will happen, it will happen. Just the way I just spoken unto you that the children of Israel will go into slavery on slave ships, it will happen. That's what Moses just said, right, Reed? Thou shalt see it no more again. It said, thou shalt see it no more again. Let's talk about our homeland, Brother Tay, right? Did they ever see, send us back to where they got us from? We're still in the land of our captivity, right? We're still here where we pick cotton, where we pick sugar cane, tobacco, rice, got whipped, got robbed, got murdered, got uh, raped. Our, our women and the men got raped. We're still here, right? What you got, bro? Uh, nope, nope, let's, let's go back, let's go back. Watch this, continue reading. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and there, when you get off those slave ships, when those slave ships dock in America, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. All right, Brother Tay, this is, is where it's going to try your spirit, right? Because it tries a lot of, of our people's spirit. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. It says there, when though when you get when those slave ships dock in America, you will be sold unto who? What did it just say? Read it again. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold into your enemies. Enemies. Who bought and sold us, bro? Who bought and sold us? White people, what did the Bible just call them? Read it again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You just said white people bought and sold us, and the Bible just called them our what? Our enemies. Do you still think they're our enemies today? No, there's some. As a nation of people, they're not. You want to know how? Breonna Taylor, you ever heard of her? What happened to her? Bring it out. George Floyd, what happened to him? Rashid, Rashid Carter, what happened to him? I mean, we, we, can, we can keep going on and on, right? They're still our enemies today. Remember, systemat systematic racism, the red light, that's why we're in the ghettos. You're a young man, I don't know, have you ever tried to buy a car? In uh, interest rates, crazy on us. It's hard to get a house loan. It's uh, a big uh, thing of underemployment. Not saying they're, they're unemployed, right? Not unemployed, underemployed. Not saying that we're not trying. People just don't want to hire us. We're the last hired. But when the company needs to needs to uh, needs to cut ties or, or save some money who's the first people that they uh fire bro this is not hate speech is this not reality it is reality and we got to understand this is coming out the bible bro this is not us we didn't rock write this we're just bringing it to our people's understanding that it was written about three thousand years ago moses was around right what's this read and there you shall be sold into your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. It says, and there you'll be sold into your enemies for bondmen, slave men, and bondwomen. Slave women, bro. Is that not history? That's history. Watch this. And no man shall buy you. So, was we bought? Man did buy. So, what does that mean? No man shall buy you. No, that's not what that means. It means, you got you got that? Watch this, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind grope in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. That's what by means. 
to redeem, right? The Bible is telling you that no man is going to redeem us out of slavery. Right. Moses writ, uh, wrote it, and he said that it will be upon us because we did not listen to God. We didn't listen to God. Because, watch this, that sister, that sister right there that you was with, is she, what, what race is she? She's white, right? Watch this. They just called us, they called her people our enemies, right? Let me let me show you how she is, right? Let me get Deuteronomy 7 and verse 3, right? Because we came up, this is, this, you just, you just understood out of the Bible that we're the Israelites. This Bible was written to us, by us, and for us, right? Hold that, hold that, uh, do we run, you can drop everything else. Hold that and give me, um, Romans 15 and verse 4. Romans 15 and verse 4. Because we're the Israelites, bro. Right. We, we discontinue from our heritage. For a curse. That's right. Right? Watch. Let me show you. Read. This is the book of Romans 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever thing were written aforetime. Whatever was written aforetime. Meaning, whatever was written in this Bible, right? Watch, Brother Tay. Were written for our learning. It was written for our learning. So we can go back and understand the things that, that is set before us. Those traps, those snares that were set before us. Because I guarantee you, everything that you think that you're caught up in, that you can't get out of, every trap, snare, problem that you have, the Bible got a solution for it. There's nothing new under the sun, my brother. That's right. It was already written down for our learning. But because... I'm I'm a, I'm a hold it. I'm a hold it. Watch this. Read. Verse fifth. Verse four. That, four. Wait, was was that it? No, no, sir. Was written for our learning. Read. Written for our learning. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. It was written for our learning. So once we understand, we learn, we can go through it with patience. And at the end, as we get through that thing with patience. It'll bring us hope. Right. That's what the scriptures are there for. Right. To right. give us hope. Brother, you just understood out of the scripture who you are. Now watch. Watch what the Bible commands, right? Let's go. Nope. Let's you continue to hold that. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah. What I want? 11 and 4. Is that what I want? 11 and 4. Just continue from my heritage. 17 and 4. My bad. 17 and 4. Right? Because, remember, it says that we went into slavery because we did not do what God told us to do, right? His commandments. This Bible is for us, right? Watch this. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, and 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, thou, even thyself, brother Tay, shall discontinue from thy heritage. You're going to discontinue from your heritage. We're going to discontinue from this Bible, right? Because this is what's given to us and nobody else. It's written to us, for us, and by us. All right? You understand that? Like, that's why it said the children of Israel, and you just understood that you was the children of Israel, right? It said that we're going to discontinue from our heritage. But Romans give us a glimmer of hope. If we go in here and we read this Bible, it's for our learning Bro, that we through patience might have hope right watch what we discontinue from let me get that Deuteronomy watch what we dis get this discontinue from this is a commandment we're back in the book of Deuteronomy so he still talked to the children of Israel right watch this Deuteronomy 7 and verse 3 read this is the book of Deuteronomy 7 and verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. It says, neither shall you make marriages with them. It's talking about the other nations. It said, Israel, don't make marriages with the other nations, right? Other nations mean other races. All right, read. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Right. Don't give your daughter, if you have a daughter, don't give her to a Edomite or Arab or Japanese man. Give her to a child, uh, a son of Israel, right? Those men that's on this sign over here, the blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans, we're all the same people. We're all the children of Israel. It's a gift of daughter to one of those men. Watch, read. 
thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Neither his daughter, the Caucasian woman, shall you give unto thy son. I didn't write that, bro. That's the commandment. And why is that written? Watch, remember, Jeremiah said we'll discontinue from our heritage. Watch why this is written. Read. Verse 4, for they will turn away thy son from following me. God said those people will turn you away from following God. God said just don't make marriages with them. That's what we just read out the Bible, right, Brother Tay? And verse 4 said that they would turn you from following God because now in society, what, which they run, right? So the so-called Caucasian people run America, run the world, really, right? They tell you now that it's okay to interracial marriage, don't they? They tell you that it's okay to be gay, don't they? They take, they, you know, see, you got that one, like, no, nah, it ain't gonna be gay. But you over here with God tell you don't be gay, but God tell you not to be with her neither. You see what I'm saying? God tell you not to eat pork. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of things that we discontinued from because they told us that it was okay. Everything that you understand, everything that you believe you know, you got it from the Caucasian race. You never came up with it out of your own mind or out of the Bible. Never. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 